right, so some of you guys commented about the overspray on the tips bothering you. Guys, they cleaned up very nice. Just a little bit of acetone and rubbing. And you can even go back and polish them if you want. But, yep, all cleaned up for that. And moving on. All right, guys, since we're out here, I figured I might as well just give you guys a quick walk around of the Camaro out in the light a little bit so you can see it a little more. It does look pretty. Um, like I said, the clear is shrinking back some. So the orange peel is kind of disappearing somewhat, but you know, that's just all part of the process. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the kind of the back and forth of this paint is wild with that pearl over top. Cause sometimes it looks baby blue. Sometimes it looks darker blue. It definitely looks darker on camera, but when the sun hits it, man, it just does all kinds of things. But it turned out real pretty guys. I'm happy with it. Just got to give it some time to dry. All right, guys. So it's been a couple days since I painted this Camaro behind me. And uh, one thing I'm going to go ahead and say straight out of the gate is sometimes things don't always go 100% the way you want them to. And this is a situation pretty much <laughs> pretty much like that. Um, the U-Pole clear coat I used. Uh, it's not exactly the best clear coat when it comes to doing Rust-Oleum paint jobs. Um, I'm sure it works fine in automotive applications because it's all automotive products, right? But I've had a lot of issues sometimes with new clear coat systems over top of Rust-Oleum, not drying as quickly as some of the others. Um, this is just a situation with this car pretty much uh, that I ultimately ran into with this clear coat system. Um, it's been a couple of days since I painted the car. I'm trying to let it sit out in the sun and bake and do everything it needs to do as much as possible. But it's one of those situations where you can't really rush it, guys. You need everything to do like it's supposed to, dry out, cure, shrink back, and then you can go back, evaluate everything, wet sand it if you need to, re-clear it, flow coat it, cut and buff, do whatever you got to do to make it slick as possible. So that's kind of where I'm at with this. I wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown with it. Um, I did finally get it out in the sun. It does look very pretty, but like I said, it's still very soft in a number of different areas. And I've had a little bump ups here and there when I was putting it back together that I'm gonna have to go back and fix. And I'll try and do all of that on the channel and show you guys, you know, pretty much everything. But um, yeah, as for right now, the uh, Camaro has got to take some dry time. So yeah that's kind of where we're at with that um i know this video was kind of short and sweet but i wanted to give you guys an update on it and let you know what was going on uh like i said i don't necessarily recommend you pole clear moving forward for anybody that wants to do a full uh paint job with rust-oleum using clear coat uh my two go-to as of right now are nason the 496 the 465 and of course the speedo coat urethane that i'm always promoting those are probably the two best. An honorable mention would be the Finish One Clear. I've heard of a lot of other people using that and having zero issues. I would imagine it's probably about like the Speedo Coat. But uh, anyways, guys, I just kind of wanted to give you an update with the Camaro, let you know where it's at and uh, why we're not necessarily moving forward very quickly with it. Uh, but with stuff like this, you can't rush it. You got to wait and you got to take your time. Obviously, we're still going to be doing spray outs, and uh, we will revisit the Camaro as soon as I feel it's completely cured like it should be. And, uh, yeah, we'll make it shine up as much as possible. But uh, for the unforeseeable future, uh, that's on the back burner a little bit. So, anyways, we're going to keep moving on. I hope you like this little update today. If uh, you found the other videos and you like what I'm doing, you like my transparency, and you just like the channel in general i appreciate you if you hit that like hit that subscribe button and uh, drop me a comment let me know what you think of the camaro build so far the other spray outs and just everything in general guys i always appreciate your feedback good or bad but uh that's gonna be it for me right now i hope you'll like share comment and subscribe i'm john from whitley auto works i hope you guys have a great day god bless and i'll see you guys on the next spray out